Welcome back to Intro to Logic. In this video, we're going to go over the rule of inference, modus ponens. Modus ponens is a rule of inference which allows us to argue from a conditional and the antecedent of that conditional to the consequent of that conditional. So for example, if we have an argument where our first premise is if p then q, and our second premise is p, modus ponens tells us that we can then derive q from lines 1 and 2, or premises 1 and 2. So what we would do is write out which lines we use, which in this case is lines 1 and 2, and then we would represent the rule of inference modus ponens with the letters MP. So keep in mind that we'll be abbreviating modus ponens with an MP. So here is a very simple example of modus ponens. Let's look at some more examples and try to get familiar with the pattern of modus ponens. Consider the argument, if Winston parties too much, then he will waste his college education. Winston partied too much, so he wasted his college education. So the first thing we need to do when uh, structuring this argument or rewriting this argument into symbolic form is to assign letters to each of the assertions. So in this case, we have our first assertion, Winston parties too much. We'll assign that with a P. He will waste his college education. We'll assign with a W. And notice that the next premise, Winston partied too much, is just going to be a repetition of the antecedent up here, so that's also going to be a P. And then the conclusion we're drawing, he wasted his college education, is a, again just a repetition. It's going to be the W again. So let's put this into symbolic form. Our first premise is if P, then W. If he parties too much, he's going to waste his education. That will be our first assumption. He partied too much. P. Now modus ponens tells us if we have a conditional, which on line one we sure do. Here we have if P then W. Remember that this little sideways V is, representation, is a representation of an if then sentence or what we call a conditional. So we have a conditional on line one. And line two, we have the antecedent of that conditional. And that's exactly what modus ponens calls for. We need both the conditional and the antecedent of that conditional, which we have on line two. So now, modus ponens tells us we can derive the consequent of the conditional. So now we can derive W. So we would write the lines we used, which in this case are lines one and two, and the rule of inference we use to derive this new line, line three, and that is MP, which stands for modus ponens. So the form of modus ponens is generalizable. Whenever we see an argument that has the form if P then Q and P, therefore Q, we know we've come across a modus ponens argument or a form of modus ponens. And you could substitute any sentence or assertion for P and Q. So long as you follow this form, it will be the case that the argument is valid. And so it has a good form or structure of reasoning. This has been an Intro to Logic video on modus ponens. Be sure to check out our other videos at introtologic.com.